In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for H3PO3 phosphorus acid, and it's a little bit of a tricky one. We'll first count the valence electrons up, and if you do that, you have 26 total valence electrons for the H3PO3 Lewis structure. So we'll put phosphorus at the center, that's the least electronegative, and then we have these three oxygens. Let's put those around here like this. And now we have these three hydrogens. And usually we see the hydrogens in the front. That tells us that it's an acid. And they normally go on the H's. I also like to put hydrogens on the outside when I can. So I'm just going to put these hydrogen atoms here on the outside. At this point, we have our skeleton Lewis structure. And we can start putting electrons between atoms to form chemical bonds. Two here. And then after we've done that, we'll complete the octets on these oxygens right here. Right now, we've only used 24 valence electrons. We have two more we need to use. But that's great because phosphorus has six, and we'll put the last two here, and we're done. This is a pretty good Lewis structure for phosphorus acid. If you calculate the formal charges, you'll find that there's zero for each one of the atoms, and that means this is a pretty likely structure. However, there's another way we could draw this structure. So I'll copy this Lewis structure that we just came up with and put it right here, and then we're going to change it a little bit. In this case, we have our hydrogen right here, attached to the phosphorus. This structure looks pretty good as well, but we don't have formal charges that are zero. If we wanted to have formal charges at zero, we'd have to make the oxygen a double bond. And in that case, that would make this a structure, a Lewis structure, with formal charges of zero. It turns out that this is the more likely structure. They actually both exist, but most of the molecules are in this form right here. If you're doing a Lewis structure for H3PO4 in an introductory chemistry course, and you draw this Lewis structure, I think you'll be fine. You can say that the formal charges are zero, the oxygens have octets. It's a good Lewis structure. If you're at a much higher level, you might need to know this exception here, but I would talk to my instructor. At any rate, these are the Lewis structures for phosphorus acid a little bit more complicated than many of the structures we face here. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.